long time no seen. Uh, well, I've seen some of you uh, on the examinations. Uh, actually, a fourth of, of of the ones taking the examinations, something like that. Um, because it's been a busy week. This and last week has been really busy for me. We had examinations on our uh, um, uh, programming foundation course in Kalmar last week. Uh, and that is 150 students taking that course. And now this week we had examinations in this course with somewhere around 100 students. Uh, and that that's why we had problems with examination times. Normally we fit everybody on the Wednesday uh, examination slots. However, this, this year we couldn't do that. So I was in Vecchio yesterday as well, uh, having examinations. Uh, and it's it's worked fine, I think. Uh, many of you have been nervous for the examinations and that is not strange. It's the first time you do oral hearings, many of you. and. But I hope you 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 liked the concept. Um, uh, we will continue with this concept on on the third examination as well. Uh, if you haven't completed examination this this week, you will get another shot in two weeks. I will book something in the schedule, but uh, it will be in week forty three. Not the last week of the semester, but the, uh, and the study period, but the, the, the second to last uh, week. Uh, and uh, it will not affect the grade in any way. And in this first one, it's pass and fail, but uh, it doesn't matter for us if, if you, you, you take the re-exam or, or the final exam uh, or, or the or ordinary exam. Uh, you have the same chance of getting a, a good grade anyway. Uh, some, some. Um, uh, I, I've, I've t told many of you that I uh, had on on the oral hearing set uh, a good thing. Many of you have done this, but f for the rest of you, I would recommend you starting looking at custom elements, web components uh, for the third assignment. Uh, many of you have seen us pretty much had an app.js with a lot of functions and global variables in the module. And that, that is fine for this assignment, the second one. But on the third one, I would recommend you to, to, to look at web components because they make up a very good way of structuring your components. It encapsulates uh, things by using the shadow DOM. Uh, and it's it's just a neat way of organizing your code because the code in the browser, if you don't, it could be really messy. Um, so look at web components, custom elements, and start working on the third assignment, basically. Uh, because we don't have too much left in the course, uh, I have three lectures that I will start uh, publishing. Uh, and uh, I will now not go to Vecchio for those uh, either. It will be online only. Uh, start watching those three lectures and I will start watching them actually uh, next week. Um, they are, if we look at them, offline and spa, that is kind of an important uh, lecture for the last assignment uh, because it talks about single page applications uh, and, and what you're supposed to do in that uh, assignment is is a single page application, uh, so so so, please go ahead and, and watch that one. Optimization and accessibility, uh, it's an important issue, but uh, there are. I mean, the sec the third the second uh, uh, or sorry I should say third examination assignment, the last one uh, is um, is kind of hard to make totally accessible because it's a lot of moving windows and stuff. Of course, you can do that by using the keyboard as well, but that is not a requirement on that assignment. However, look at that, that lecture as an uh, orientation at least. APIs in the, fu in the future is just some inspiration. Uh, I, I talk about some of the new APIs um, like uh, WebAssembly, uh, WebGL for, for making graphical interface or using the graphic card basically on the browser. Uh, there are a lot of, of exciting APIs coming up in the browser and so 
please go ahead and watch that one as well. The peer instruction we will have in Vecqua as, as we did with the second one, or if, yeah, the first peer instruction on the second part. Uh, but that is uh, week for 43. Um, and start working with the examination assignment. If you have done the, the, the exercises. If you haven't, you should at least start looking at the BART board example, uh, the BART board exercise. Uh, so under the second part, uh, let's see, where are you? BART board, there you are. So this one, the BART board exercise and the recording uh, to that one. Um, it demonstrates how to use custom elements at, in the second part. So I start off by using a more classical solution without custom elements and then I transform it into custom elements. And you will probably see that it's quite neat and it get a packaging a lot better. So look at that one at least and then start working with the examination assignment three. You have, you have kind of two and a half weeks starting now. Uh, and you will need it. Uh, it's quite a big uh, exercise uh, or assignment. Uh, you will create this kind of, uh, let's show it, I hope I don't have any sound. Uh, can do it like that. Uh, here, here. Maximize it. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, it's, it's it's kind of a, uh, a window manager inside of the uh, uh, the browser. Uh, if, if we skip ahead, we'll probably see that we could open like windows like that, uh, move them around, close, open. So it's it's like like an operating system. Um, in this case, it's a memory game, so I can click the images and uh, uh, and play a memory game. Uh, that is one of the, the things you should do. You should also do a chat where you can chat with all the uh, uh, other people uh, taking the course. Uh, uh, this is done using web sockets. Um, and it's and you are also supposed to, to create your own application. And, and, and please try to, to, to make something that is uh, a little bit exciting. Please use the new APIs, for instance. Uh, through the years, we have had games, uh, paint programs, um, a lot of things, uh, basically. A webcam pro, you, you can start a web chat with, with filters and things like that. So you, you can do a lot of things in this assignment. Uh, but it takes time, uh, be, and it, but it's quite fun. And most students that take this uh, assignment say that this is a really fun exercise or assignment. So please go ahead and start it uh, already now because you will need the time. Uh, concerning the, uh, uh, if we were to look at the uh, oral hearings for this one, uh, we haven't put up any times yet. However, it will be on the Wednesday the last week. Uh, I know a lot of you have a lot of exams that week. So we will probably have that week and the week after. So we will probably postpone the examination for those who like to the week after. So you get a little bit more time. The first week of new courses is often quite quite relaxed. So, so hopefully you could, you could have the examination then. And then there will be two weeks after that. It will be a re exam as well. And this assignment will then start in Kalmar, the next study period. So in it, at the end of that period, there will be yet another re-exam for those of you who like. Um, but go ahead and start, start reading the instructions at least. Uh, I will like to stress that in this application we have some non-functional requirements. Uh, I, I, I actually missed that in, in, in the second assignment, but in this one we have non-functional requirements. You should present a complete git commit history uh, for the, the assessment. Uh, somewhere between 30 and 200 commits maybe in, in, in this case. So, so don't forget to work with git. You should follow standard JS just as you have done on the other ones. Uh, all exported functions, classes and types should be commented, uh, preferably using JS docs. So, so you should use JS doc to, to, 
to to comment on 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 things that are public in this application. Uh, the application should be visually appealing. That is well up to the viewer, I guess. The code shall shall be organized in appropriate modules, at least four. So you need to use modules in this one, and uh, uh, the code base is pretty substantial. So you 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 will actually need to use modules, I guess, to, to get it to be 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 organized. But please, I, I don't have a, 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 a requirement that you you're supposed to use custom elements, but but I would recommend it a lot. Um, that is basically what I have to say today. Um, yeah, um, there is nothing else. Uh, please use the, the Slack channel if, if, if you have any questions. And uh, I see you uh, on, on the tutoring session or on the peer instruction or at the vlog next week. Bye.